Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Psychonauts, where, you know, it might seem a little spooky, I know some people are afraid of the dark, but don't worry, nothing bad has ever happened at a summer camp at night. It's just, you know, it's unfathomable. Uh, so I see this little, I see this little sneaky path back here, it doesn't seem to have any collectibles in it, which is a real disappointment. And here I thought I was going to get to start the episode by feeling clever. Ah, uh, boy, that sure looks like... That's that's the fog the killer emerges from. We're definitely not going that way. What, what's the deal with this? Um, I don't know. It's real glowy. Aha! Here's the top to that stump and a little torch. Uh, do I still have my pyro? Yeah. There we go. Oh, I did... I started a little bit more of a fire than I intended. So it was Ford Crawler in his prime. That's more like it. Boy, I don't remember this at all. You know, maybe I could have, uh... I suppose I could have replayed the first game. Because I really enjoyed that first game, but also I played it when the PS2 was, like, the modern console, so... Although maybe this isn't actually from the first game, because I don't remember these these characters being actually mentioned. Ah, uh, poor Helmet Full Bear. Then again, I guess I'll never get to see his famous psychotacy. Then again, like I'm saying, you know, it was a long time ago, and I'm old, and my memory wasn't good when I was young. That's right. There were seven stumps at camp. Oh, weird. I seem to have just forgotten about this one. Also, I forgot that I got to go offline on Steam when playing this game. Okay. Lucretia Mux. Huh. Wonder why she's not included in the Psychic Six. I mean, I guess because that would make it the Psychic Seven. But still, she must have been important, or Ford wouldn't have carved her. Just, just nothing around here, huh? Very weird, very conspicuous area. All right, the, the game is very, like, it really, yep. really doesn't want me to turn the camera. I don't know if it's obvious to you, like, that I'm trying and I'm getting, like, some real hardcore resistance. There's a note to Ford in here. Looks like it's from Otto Mentalis, Crowell. I think it's time we add a third psychic to our research team. Her name is Lucretia Mux. She's hoping to get out of Grulovia, where her husband was just killed in the war. I know you have concerns about hydraulic mining, Ford, but with Lucretia's powerful hydrokinesis, we could wash the Cytanium out of these caves in no time. I feel... I feel like maybe that message was not well-timed to the distance that you cover while reading it. This is worse than I thought. Well, I seem to remember the inside of your mind wasn't so neat and tidy either. Agent Cruller, I'm here to help. I want to unshatter your mind. Ah, don't bother. I've tried for years. Whoever dropped the kablooey on this mine really didn't want to put back together again. And to tell you the truth, there were some parts of this old brain that weren't doing me much good anyway. Who needs to think about the past all the time, eh? Some memories are best left alone. Now let's get out of here before that bacon gets cold. But Ford! <laughs> now I'm not saying it will be easy, but let's just go see Truman, and I'm sure he'll... Agent Crawler? Ford? Oh, man. I need to find him before I report back to Truman. What was that work he said he had to do? Something about mail and hair and 
his shoes? All right, hold on just a damn second. Why is this glowing so much? Probably just saved a life taking this off the market. Okay, because that's extremely gross day old sushi. You really should not, in general, I would say, you really should not eat food that is glowing in that way. It kind of doesn't matter what it is. Keep that titanium safe in a side house. Uh, new guy in the salon. You know, he did say something about hair. That place is still not open, though. Uh, also, mail. Also, shoes. I don't really know what to do about the shoes thing. I guess bowling. Alright, hold on. Scanning. This door we can at least get into. We can we can go in here and have a look around. Be very careful not to harm any rats, obviously. Agent Crawler, it's me, rats. Permission to enter? Negative. Senior staff only. Ford, it's me. And who are you? <sighs> Don't you realize who I am? Wait. If Nick John Smith is mentoring interns, he must be senior staff, right? I'm telling my dad. I should talk to him. Yes, I'm sure this is going to be extremely oh, helpful. No. Mr. John Smith. I mean, he seems like he's having a good time. Return. Hang on, Nick. I'll get you out of there. Somehow. Right, considered the lever. No, we're not doing the lever. How about I just... There. There you go, Nick. Now stay away from these machines. Hey, Nick. You're senior staff, right? Pony? Can you help me get into the back room? I need to talk to Agent Crawler. Flat rate. Look, Nick. I have a wild idea. Bear with me. If I get you a loner brain of equal or greater value to your own, then you help me get into the back room. Plus, I'll bet the loner brain will keep you safe from all this machinery. First class. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Now, where can I find a brain? That's one Agent Crullo located. Need to find the other two before I regroup with Agent Zanotto. Do we have reason to believe that there are three of them? Should Is that a thing that should be happening? Postage. Also, that is definitely a conversation that we could have had while he was in the stamp o -matic. Uh, Address so where am I going to find a... I don't... Hmm. Where do they keep the extra brains around here? Alright, that's that mail slot thing. Hmm. Can I just... Oh, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Alright, and we don't have, like, a time slow. Yeah, whatever. We'll just we'll worry about the big fan later. Have I tried starting fires? Have I tried just setting fire to all of the mail? Eh. It's fairly effective. It's effective-ish. Well, it's back. Are we allowed to bull yet? Hi. I'm sorry. I just hate children. Okay. It is open. Despite the fact that there's people outside saying that it's definitely still not open. It is, in fact, open. Or open-ish. Agent Crawler, I need to talk to you. Sorry, Senior League hours. Only members of the Senior League allowed. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's much left of the Senior League, except for Compton Bull? No kidding. Huh. Under office number, it just says psycho-isolation. Why would his office be in psycho-isolation? Guess I need to get out there to find out. Two boards down. Only one more to find before I can go back to Truman. Did I just, like, miss a thing where we explained that, that like Ford fragmented into three people? Or... I feel like I, I feel like I missed something. Also, we definitely heard somebody talking about psycho-isolation. 
I do not remember where it was. And you know, I didn't actually try the door over here, but it sure doesn't look open. Sorry, looked up all day. I can wait. You sure as shampoo can, but unless I get a cancellation, you're out of luck. That's the final Ford. Time to debrief Truman. I think I'm gonna need his help. Treat yourself to a psychic excess today. All right, we'll get we'll, we'll get this all sorted out. Right there, let's just ask him. Oh. We're just gonna pretend that we didn't overhear any of that. Is this stuff like naturally occurring? Is it just growing in the ground? What kind of seeds do you have to plant? To get these like extremely quickly recurring crops. Definitely be approving more overtime. Scanning access granted. I gotta be honest with you, the scans are feeling a little perfunctory. I don't believe they verified my identity at all. Scanning access. Granted. I guess I really should have used the fast travel in the uh, in the lobby. Truman, it's okay. We're alone. Where's Crawler? I got him to the base. But now he's locked in the bowling alley, and also the mailroom, and the hair salon. Hmm, sounds like he's reverting to some old behavior. He's no good to us like that. I think I could help him, if I could just get closer to him. But to get closer, I need to do some stuff outside the base. Hmm. Put your head near this brain... uh... thing. I should be able to... There! Full access. That should let you search the whole place, inside and out. Okay. I'll try to get Ford and bring him back here. No, Raz. You're going to find Ford Cruller, and you're going to fix him. You're going to make Ford Cruller whole again. This is just another mind in torment, Raz. It needs a psychonaut to fix it. And I believe in you, Raz. I know you're ready for this. Yes, sir, Agent Zanato. I won't let you down. I'll put Ford back together again. Godspeed, Psychonaut. Yeah, I still desperately want to bite through the rich chocolatey crust of his beard. All right. Each aspect of Ford presents its own challenge. It can be tackled in any order. And now we got now we got all this security clearance. So didn't we just have a whole thing where we were like Please report to the front desk. You have a visitor. Hmm. What? Extremely suspicious. I guess we'll go check that out. But didn't we just have a whole thing where we were like, hey, you're not supposed to try to fix people. It's like definitely irresponsible. It's basically the embodiment of hubris. And you're like a small, like a child. I don't know how young, I still have no idea how young Raz is supposed to be. But you can't argue with the fact that at the very least, speaking in terms of raw physics, He's a very small child. Wait, where actually is the... I came here to to go to, like, the main desk. Is that what she said? The You know what, whatever. I'm going upstairs. Scanning for fingerprint. My visitor can wait. You have multiple visitors waiting for you in the reception I mean, I guess the reception area would be down here, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. Dad? Rasputin, my boy. Tell me, son. Did you show them? Did you show them all? Uh, well, yeah, we rescued Truman from the kidnappers, so... I guess? That's my boy. 
So I suppose that means you're running this whole place now. Dad, what are you doing here? What? Well, we're here to support you, son. We? Of course. You really opened my eyes about the whole psychic thing, son. I'd been acting like a fool, I know that now. But your mother... I knew she'd need more convincing. She's not, after all, like us. Psychics, I mean. You don't have to whisper that here. So, I thought if she saw where you were working and met all your new friends... My mom's here. Son, the whole family is here! Oh, no. been practicing your acrobatics? Uh. 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 He's definitely let his muscle tone suffer. Hey, hey, hey! I think he's put on a little weight. Just what is going on out here? Rasputin, stop goofing around and explain yourself. Who are these people? We are the Aquatos! Traveling thrill givers and practitioners of the acrobatic arts! Great! Well, this is a highly restricted area. The campgrounds are over the hill. Now, if you wouldn't mind hauling that wreck off our landing pad. What did you say? If it's too much trouble to haul it, I could always burn it for you. Please, excuse us. We are Rasputin's family. We've come here to support him, not get in the way. We'll move our caravan to the campgrounds. Ah, uh, I want to play in the jet. Maybe your brother can give us a tour later. Whenever he's ready, he knows where to find us. Bye, Pooter. <laughs> <laughs> that was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <sighs> well, I mean, it could have gone worse. I just, like... I guess it didn't really occur to me during the last game. Um because you don't see the family in action a whole lot. But, like, as a bloodline, we are almost constitutionally the worst shape we could possibly be for acrobatics, right? Like, everybody's really lanky and spindly, but has these giant heads. Like ex extremely top-heavy. 90% of our mass is in the skull. It seems like it would pose a lot of problems. This card lying around. I kind of hate the amount of, yeah, the amount of like freedom of mobility we have because it's going to mean that they're going to, they're going to hide some things in some real tricky places. Am I going to be able to get back from that? I guess maybe I don't have to. Ah, shoot. Ah. Did not mean to fall down there. It is probably the case that if I just grab the card and then get get warped back up on land, that'll be good enough. So I guess let's try that. Sidecar. 
do we still have it? Two of 18? Uh, my side card's represented on here somewhere. Because I would have thought that would be the cards, but that sure says five. I actually don't even know. Well, whatever. I guess, you know what, the smart thing to do would be to just, like, look. Yeah, no, it's definitely still connect still collected. Okay. So, yeah, Psycho Isolation being out here somewhere makes sense and sounds like it totally could be what we overheard. Very faintly ringing some bells. Can I just drop down? No. Pretty precarious place for one of those to be. Is it just a big sheep up there? Well, I kind of feel like if I don't go get that card right now, I'm gonna... Or no, it's not a card, it's a chest. So actually... Oh, I was expecting to skip across that rock. Actually, I guess there's no point in going over there until we find a key. Uh, my big concern, of course, is that I'm going to forget that that's there if we don't if we don't seize it immediately. But ooh, fancy! I guess that's just how it's going to have to be. Whatever. It's just it's just going to be like 25 titanium in the chest, right? It probably doesn't matter. Can I pick up an entire car and throw it in the lake? No, apparently not. Well, I definitely think that that was worth checking out. Think of the possibilities. Uh, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to get up here. I don't think that, I don't think there's anything over here anyway. Well, that's a fun kind of foreboding. Scanning for thinkerprint. Granted. Nice to see you again, Rasputin. And you've managed to stay clothed. Very good. Wow. Look at all these gadgets. Gadgets? Sorry, machines. Psycho-reactive technology? Rasputin, I thought you would recognize these for what they are. Just these loose screws and gears. Dreams. Where do you think machines come from? They spring forth from the human imagination. They are human thought made real. I invented that one when I was angry. When I designed that one, I was sad. That one, uh, I was just hungry. Incredible! Glad you like them. You know, I'm not supposed to check out equipment to interns, but Agent Nine seems to put a lot of faith in you, my boy. So, if you'd like to try one out, just let me know. Oh, man. Agent Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin? So I don't really have, like, a specific plan. I guess let's just see if he'll give me something. Got any cool devices to lend out? Shh. Interns aren't allowed to check out my devices. But if you were to take your time, say, delivering one of these to Sasha or Mia, well, that would be none of my business. This one is a thought tuner. 
Use it to find stray thoughts floating around the world. And this psi enhanced camera is for creating photographic memories. I'd train you how to use them, but uh, that would only increase my legal liability. Have fun. Okay, solid logic. I mean, the one's just a camera, right? Photographic memories are just photographs. And thanks for delivering those items to Sasha and Mia. I have a question about a thing that is on the table behind him that we just saw in that shot. Uh, I guess we'll check it out in a second. What's your theory on the mole? Oh, uh, I really haven't thought too much about it. Maybe I should make a lie detector. So is Maligula as bad as people say? Oh, I don't like to think about that name. If my device had just worked better that day, so many things would be different now. What device did you build to fight Maligula? The Hyper High Glaciator. It amplified our hydrokinetic powers and allowed us to freeze water semi-permanently. But Maligula threw our friend Helmet in the water just before the device went off. He was frozen so deeply in my hyper ice, we were never able to recover his body. Only Ford saw it happen, and he is unable to tell us where to look for it. I don't really understand the, si the science behind... What exactly makes the ice hyper? How do these machines make contact with your mind? The secret is the Citanium. It's a psychoreactive quartz-like mineral that responds to and amplifies psychic energy. It vibrates with the psychic waves, driving the machines. Well, I ought to let you get back to work. <laughs> very, very uh, humorous. Certainly very something. Yeah, that's... Uh, it, you shouldn't be back here. It's not safe. It's a sandwich also, with crab claws. I came out here looking for something. What was it? Oh, right, a brain for Nick, so I can get into C4 Thank and to keep Nick from Thank you, Raz. He really does love to, like, they just do not want you to play in the space at all. Raz loves to just shout at you what you're supposed to be doing. Nobody's eaten you yet? Well, don't take it personally. I want the button prompt to go away because I cannot observe this thing in its full glory. It is just a, it is just a sandwich that has been assembled around a crab, I guess. It looks like it's been tied in the middle. But, but why, though? <laughs> to what end? Damn it. Stupid depth perception. this the isolation chamber by chance? So many brains. All voluntarily donated upon death. I have all the paperwork. Uh, somewhere. These people are all dead? Uh, their bodies are. And their brains are no longer capable of thought. But I've preserved them here, in the brain frame. What for? Experiments. Ew. Really? No room for the squeamish in psychic science, Sonny. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. We've only begun to explore its mysteries. That is, after all, the true mission of the psychonauts. Someday, my brain will live here, and yours too. What? Should have read that NDA more carefully. So it's kind of the opposite of an isolation chamber, really. Huh. Are we are we are we Kickstarter backers? Sorry, fig backers. Cute. Check out the smug look on this boy. Unfortunate. I mean, that's got to be it, right? Wow, they got a lot of... I mean, I guess I knew that. What about unprocessed minds? 
These are locked. Hey, this one looks not bad. Not bad at all. Well, I mean, what do I, what do we want to give Nick? That one looks a little soggy. Warning, contagious. Cause of death, low brash. Yeah, probably not that one. Uh, cause of death, mice. That's probably fine, right? There's, there's probably not any mice left in there. Don't like the undulations. Cause of death, various. Okay, I couldn't get this one out anyway. Too small for Nick. Actually, I guess most of these have release unauthorized. Too big for Nick. Hey, this one looks not bad. Not bad at all. Cause of death, abandonment, question mark. All right. Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. We hope you don't mind poppins. This is good. You gotta get in there and kick the tires. Maybe I'm too late. Doesn't seem to be any life left here. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? My name is Raz. Who are you? How long have you been in here? What's your name? Sorry. Oh, you. Sorry, I just haven't talked in such a long time. Oh my gosh, is that my voice? Is that what I sound like? What do you sound like? Oh my gosh, who are you? Are you not me? My name is Raz. Words. Words? You're saying words to me? <laughs> what was that non-word sound I just made? Am I dying? No, not dying. I feel alive. Very alive. Who are you? Who am I? Am I anything? Am I everything? Am I God? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God. Or the universe. Or the ultimate cosmic oneness. Or something in that jam. Am I right? Well... Basically, right now, you're kind of a brain in a jar. Uh huh? But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? I'll be right back. What? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything! I promise to be quick. While I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe, or when I destroyed it. If I put this brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them both out. As well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. Yeah, definitely don't do that. Back to the mail room to put it in Nick's head. You know whose brain that kind of reminds me of? Uh, it seems more than a little bit like it might have been Harry Dubois' brain, and I just don't... That does not give me great positive feelings. Well, I mean, that seems pretty valuable. Whatever it is, it's extremely glowy. Oh, is this a scavenger hunt thing? Approved hazing rituals for totally new is. agents. <sighs> Some things never change, I guess. Huh. Yeah, I guess now that I can walk around outside of the base, I'm probably going to start encountering those. Oh, and another big fan with something very clearly behind it.
You know, it's a weirdly specific idea. I guess it's just like very, it's a very video game sort of thing. Uh, can I move this? No, I cannot. I forget, I may as well just like bring it back down with us, right? <laughs> we'll find that key eventually. Uh, all right, for now, I guess we're probably done in here. All right, so one down, two to go. What, what else do we need? We need to find the isolation chamber because the guy who's allowed inside the bowling uh, I was about to say rink. That's definitely not correct. You know, the bully place is in there, and there was something else we needed, and I cannot remember what it was. Hey, did a rundown circus caravan come through here lately? Sure did. Okay, that's it. That's the whole interaction. Did you happen to see where that caravan went? Oh, I let down the bridge, and they went up to the campgrounds in the questionable area. So, could you let down the bridge so I can go to the questionable area? Sorry. No pedestrian traffic allowed. And don't even think about cutting through the old mine. That thing is a death trap. Careful. Looks like you're starting to burn a little. Oh, man, the other guards are going to be so jealous. All right, well, I don't know if our conversation was ever important, but... It's certainly, uh, we certainly seem to have gone past the point of utility on that one. So, I mean, I sure would love to get over there. I'm not 100% sure... Yeah, not really sure how I would do that exactly. Oh, you know what? There was that, um... There's an area lift over there. Hmm. I'm getting the sense there are some stray thoughts. Oh, here. right, sure. I should check it out with my thought. Okay. I guessed wrong which button was was tuned to which. I guess thought tuner being on T does make a lot of sense. The auto shot camera allows rats to take photos in both the physical and mental worlds. Okay, so this is this is not really a game thing. It's just photo mode because every game's got a photo mode now. Uh, the thought tuner lets me tune into the energy of stray thoughts floating around the physical world. Found some thoughts. Thanks, thought tuner. It's, um, it's a little bit of a challenge to grasp what that means, that even in the physical world, I'm able to uh, sort of just pull myself through whatever thoughts have been laying around for Lord knows how long. There we go. Here's our isolation chamber. Yep, extremely smooth, like a glove. Yep. Huh, that's weird. With that side card, I can make a side challenge marker back at the automatic. Hello. Finally. I thought you'd never say hi. I tell ya, I have been waiting for someone to come visit for a long time. I was starting to think I was invisible. You ever get that feeling? Well, there was this one girl who looked kind of like a blue scarecrow. But she scared me. But you seem nice. So did I guess your name right? It's Raz. Oh, that was the very next name I was going to say, I swear. So, 
How long are you committing yourself for? Committing myself to what? Psycho-isolation, silly! We don't commit people anymore without their consent. Unless they're a danger to themselves or others. How many people you got in there? Oh, just Agent Bool right now. He likes it in there. Keeps him from feeling overwhelmed by all the you-know-what in the woods. Uh, boy. What would someone feel overwhelmed by? I mean, there are definitely goats, but how would you feel... There's not that many of them. Um, you know, squirrels actually are a little bit creepy, and they sure are numerous. Squirrels? Voices. He can't shut them out. Can you believe he even finds me overwhelming? <laughs> so anyway, I've got a nice room ready for you if you'd like it. Actually, I'm just here to visit Agent Bool. Oh, well, okay. Just be careful. Don't ask him too many things at once, or he'll curl up into a little ball and something might explode. Hi! Now when she says something, I'm sure that doesn't include me. I'm, sh I'm, I'm sure I'm safe. See what you're doing there. Hmm. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Looks like there's a senior league membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? How did Harold even get in here? There's no way he fit through the slot. I see Lizzie introduced you to Harold. Oh, no. Harry Kasparov here showed up on his own. So why is okay. Lizzie still out there looking for animals? Oh, well, I mostly sent her away well, just because there was too many voices in here. Hint, hint. Yeah, no, I get it. I, I'm just insufferable. Hi, I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh, no. He hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans that I know of. Good. Good. Do you need help getting out of there? No. I put myself in here. Why did you put yourself in there? Well, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. And when I get overwhelmed, accidents happen. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh, no. W with what? I mean, do we think it's safe to tell him about the mole? I don't necessarily, um... I need a senior league membership card. What? Well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she die? No, no, she's somewhere. Out in the forest. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just can't anymore. Yeah, I'm... I mean, there's not... This is not the kind of game where there are going to be any real narrative consequences for saying this, right? Like, we may as well. I need help catching the mole and the psychonauts. Sorry, don't do moles. They're little snots. Give me the heebie-jeebies. I mean, Harold's right there. No, I mean there's a counter-spy in the organization. Oh, well, I'm retired from spy work. A danger to myself and to others, they say. Who would say that? Me. Well, it's good to have a, you know, an accurate self-assessment. I need help fighting Maligula. Ah, you need to warn a gentleman before slapping him in the face with a name like that. She's long gone, but the scars are still painful. Someone's trying to bring Maligula back. Ah! 
Well, I, I suppose I had enough warning that time. Listen, Maligula is dead and gone. Even if she were to return, I was no help fighting her the first time. I'll be sitting out any future Maligula battles for everyone's protection. For everyone's protection. Please let me borrow your Senior League membership card. No! Now buzz off! Alright, well... Mm, buzz off! Hey, hang on a second! Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. If you could bring me just one bee, I'll bet I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this and hurry. Okay, one bee coming up. Ah, right, well, that's the thing that I extremely don't want to do. Uh, okay. I'm off to the forgetful forest to find a bee for Agent Fool. Or at this least... is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. It doesn't sound adorable at all. What are you talking about? Who finds bees ador- eh. I wonder how long this brain is going to stay fresh in my back. I guess there are probably some people who find bees adorable, but I do not- I am not among them. Alright, apologies. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to cut this episode just a little bit short here. You might have noticed uh, from the pauses. Hi getting a little a little distracted i, I have a, a thing unfolding here uh so you know what maybe maybe right here maybe we'll just call it right here uh that is gonna have to be it for us for today thank you all so much for watching and apologies when you come back next time tomorrow uh we're gonna finish figuring out this agent crawler situation hopefully and apparently i'm going to have to be proximate to bees on purpose which just sounds like a what a terrible idea and we'll see you then.